Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a handy Chrome extension for creating citations for web pages and quickly adding them into a bibliography. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So the tool we're going to use is called Bib Citation. I have a link for it in the description of the video down below. And you can see it right here in my Chrome web browser. I'm just going to click on it and we'll see it's citing current website. And it's going to generate for me the citation in the style that I want. Now we can see here, it's asking me to add the author. So I can say, burn Richard. And we can add more if we need to. Now the date published. We can go in here and say the 15th, 15th of April, and the year is 2021. And we can see right there the title of the article or page and the website name. And we can see there's the date accessed and viewed. And let's update that. And now we can just copy that citation and paste it into our bibliography or copy this in-text citation to use in the paper. Or we can go to add to bibcitation.com and that's going to load for me a bibliography and that will automatically add that first thing into my bibliography. Now I can do this for multiple web pages, and when I'm done, I can just copy and export all of this as a document, HTML, BibText, or RIS file format. Now, some web pages, it'll pull all that information for you very, very quickly without you having to fill it in. For example, if we go to practicaledtech.com, and we take a look at this article here about thousands of national parks, pictures, and videos. And then we use the Bib Citation tool. What it's going to do is it's automatically going to fill in the author name for me because it's detecting that from the page itself. So let's see how Bib Citation works here. We'll see there, it's automatically filled it in for me. And once again, I can copy that citation, copy the in-text citation, or add it to my bibcitation.com. And we'll see right there, now I have both of those things added in. And once again, I can copy and export. Now, you'll notice that when I was making those citations, I was doing APA 7 but we can pick from all of these other styles that we might want to use. We might do Chicago Manual of Style or MLA 8 or APA 6 instead of APA 7. Now, I'm not sure why you'd want to do APA 6 instead of 7, but you might want to. So that's Bib Citation and its new Chrome extension. Give it a try. I think you'll like it. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out freetechforteachers.com.